All right, so I've uh, got these uh, two BLE lights connected. Uh, they're powered on, but my uh, microservice isn't running yet. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just uh, start the script by node index.js. You can download this from uh, GitHub. As you can see, as soon as it starts, there we go. So it found the two um, lights and switched them off because it, by default uh, the RGB and W values are set to zero. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to subscribe here. So this is MQTT Lens. As you can see, it's published a message, hello from BLE Light, telling us that it's online. Uh, initially, what I want to do is I'm going to set the uh, uh, red light to 10%, uh, sorry, 10 out of 255. So once I sent the publish message, you can see one by one both of these turned red. Um, that's because the service will actually try to discover the BLE lights one by one and it'll push the uh, value that I've already sent uh, one by one. So let's set them again to zero. So if you do a publish again, it will do a. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So it takes a bit of a la there's a bit of a lag because it takes a bit of a time for it to kind of publish to the broker and then come back. Uh, let's change the light from red to blue, but again, 005 this time. So just doing a publish, so you can see it switched off one and then uh, turning them off is then again just sending a zero and. There's one and then there's the other. I'm going to just uh, move this guy a little bit that word. There we go. Sending a 10 this time. And so the first, this light turned on, then the other one. No particular order. Zero, zero, and then publish. Switch this one off, and now I'll switch that one off. So no particular order. Let's try it with the green. So just give it a 255 this time. Do a publish, and there we go. Turn one line on, and then the other one line. So there's a lot of brightness going on. And uh, if I want to just switch it off, and just publish, and there we go. All right. If I want to see how long it takes for this message to actually go through. You can copy, paste, do another subscribe, and there's it. So I'm going to do a 255, publish, and there we go. So you can see it, uh, the MQTT message almost instantaneously goes through, but it takes a bit of a time for it to copy and then for the next scan to kind of happen. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open a uh, MQTT uh, Dash application on my uh, cell phone. I'm going to send it triple zero. When I do a set, you can see there we go. It received the message on the broker, and then it updated uh, the lights correspondingly. Two fifty-five for the red. If I do a set, there we go. This is just showing the last five messages. Let's do the last one message. If I do a uh, zero, zero, zero and send, it pops up on the, hold on a second, the green. If I do a green 255, done, set, the message pops up, this green turned on, and then the other green. Doing it again on my cell phone. Zero, 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 because there's no authentication. So zero and zero and zero. So there is no uh, authentication being used currently. Uh, so that's one of the reasons uh, that anybody can send. So if uh, you want to use my code, I seriously recommend changing these two strings in the code. Uh, they're given at top of the code uh, here. And if you just change the topics here, that should take care of it. It won't be secure, but it will help you distinguish your application from somebody else's, or in fact mine, 
and uh, I hope uh, you can uh, get started with the next IoT application. Thanks for watching.